Good afternoon, this is the National Weather Service in Des Moines providing a quick afternoon update on some potentially uh, impactful weather this afternoon and evening. So what we're talking about is the potential for a few severe storms primarily affecting western Iowa and portions of central Iowa to roughly the Interstate 35 corridor. What we're talking about is the potential for large hail, damaging winds, an isolated tornado or two, as well as frequent lightning. Once again, we're talking about late afternoon into the evening and overnight hours. And obviously with any uh, severe weather, you can have uh, impacts including damage to trees, vehicles, other personal property. And given the time of year with many people outside, we want to stress outdoor safety. Here you can take a look at what the SPC has out for our severe weather outlook. You can see a large portion of the state is at least in a marginal risk. However, we do not expect much in the way of severe weather uh, in these areas. The main areas of concern are going to be those uh, shaded in yellow as well as the orange here where there's at least a slight risk. And once again, you can see from roughly I-35 westward. Specifically, breaking it down here, the largest risk for the state is uh, severe hail at the moment. As you can see in the, the brown area is 5%, yellow is 15 red is 30%, and that's the potential for one inch hail within 25 miles of a point. This black hatched area is an area where it's at least 10% for two inch hail. However, you can see here that it's primarily back in Nebraska and Kansas. Next, we have damaging winds, once again, 5% and 15%, and the 15% affecting much of western Iowa. And lastly, again, there's the potential for an isolated tornado or two, as you can see with the 2% green, as well as the 5% brown there. Once again, quickly summarizing, we do have the potential for some severe weather this afternoon and evening, primarily affecting western Iowa, uh, roughly Interstate 35 westward with the main threat being large hail, followed by damaging winds, the possibility for an isolated tornado or two, and with any thunderstorm, frequent lightning. Uh, and again, impacts can range from as little as damage to trees, vehicles, personal property, and once again, with a lot of sports and activities outside nowadays, outdoor safety. As always, there's plenty of resources out there that you can stay aware of the weather, one being the Storm Prediction Center, uh, another being our site, weather.gov forward slash Des Moines, and specifically we do have a decision support page specifically for severe weather. Um, and other than our website itself, you can feel free to follow us on social media, so Facebook, Twitter, as well as uh, YouTube, where we do post multimedia weather briefings such as this one. Once again, this was the National Weather Service in Des Moines providing a quick update on the potential for severe weather this afternoon and evening. As always, stay weather aware. Thank you.